Hi, beautiful souls. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Kim Yano. Here we talk about all things law of attraction, law of assumption, and the best of all mental health so if those are your vibes welcome hit that like button and the sub button and the notification bell so you do not miss out on any other videos so let's get into this guys i'm holding my phone because i'll be doing from now on a lot of suggestion type videos and with suggestion type videos i have to look at my phone to keep up with what i'm talking about mostly because i have adhd but we're not gonna talk about that guys okay so uh bear with me but today we are talking about um how to get an sp2 proposed to you um and what that process would consist of so as you guys know i don't well for my reoccurring viewers i do not talk about anything that i don't live or have been through personally um a lot of people have questions um related to marriage or how to manifest a marriage or uh in getting engaged things involving really committed relationships and so those are that's why on my channel it's the highest form of what's talked about but in the case that you guys have any other things you want to manifest as well we can talk about those as well here so today we are going to focus in on on SP proposing to you so when it comes down to people that we are manifesting you have to always determine what is your most prioritized thought so if you want someone to propose to you you want someone to ask you to be their forever partner you want someone to be fully committed to you and regardless of situations some of you guys may be dealing with situations where um, the partner you're manifesting may have commitment issues or you may have commitment issues but you want to try the point of the matter is everybody's situation may be different but you all can get the same end result and how you do that is by maintaining the end the end is what you probably hear a lot in the law of attraction communities what that means is you live in this new state you live in this jumping this quantum leaping world and you stay there and how you do that is by simply just accepting i like to use the word accepting because a lot of um even myself a lot of mentors online we say things like ignore the 3d and then people are like are you like kidding and i've always felt that way to myself when watching content because i'm like how can I forget something I'm living in every single day? That makes no sense. So instead of using the term ignore, I like to say, accept your new reality as your own reality. I always try to specify in my videos that time is an illusion. You don't have to believe me. You can look this up on Google. Okay. There's actually this membership company. I think it's called Gaia.com and their um, YouTube ads get me every time because every single time I see it, I'm like, Oh, I want to add this. I want to watch this content because it's about law of attraction. It's about the universe. It's about manifesting. It's about your power as a human being. And I'm a nerd at heart. I love documentaries and all that. So I don't know if you guys have know what i'm talking about but it's i think it's called gaia gay a i g a i a check it out um i think it's gaia.com or something like that and um they talk about the power of you know the world really and it's a very um i feel magnetized to that right and so anyway going back to what i was saying guys is that when you prioritize your new reality instead of your old reality that's what makes things change because guys there is no such thing as a past and there is no such thing as a future everything is now so just think about it from this point of view for a second take yourself out of the usa world in the canada world or wherever you live and i want you to think wholeheartedly about what it would feel like to not have a time system to not say i have to be at work at seven o'clock or not to say um in four days i'll have a doctor's appointment what would it feel like to not have time yeah, let that just think about that for a second. If we had no system, no 6 a.m., 10 p.m., none of that, what would it feel like? It would feel like everything is now. Even though you may go to sleep, even though you may wake up and do other things, that for you wouldn't mean anything because it's still the same day. To you, there is no time. So this time that was created is almost like a government system. It's created, in my opinion, to really keep people on track, but at the same time, keep them on the track. You catch my drift? And so if you're trying to ignore the rat race, if you're trying to break the mold, if you're trying to jump out the box and manifest your desires, you, the only way you're going to do that is by completely taking away the concept of time. Now that we took away the concept of time, think about this. 
when you take away the concept of time and I tell you, you and your specific person are going to get married. Your specific person is proposing to you right now. I want you to think about your specific person for a second as you're watching me. I want you to think about what it would be like for your SP to get on their knees, look you directly in your eyes with the biggest smile on their face, holding the ring of your dreams in their hands out of nowhere, and you were just in complete happiness, bliss, and shock because you did not expect this, truly didn't expect it. Yeah, you're manifesting it. Yeah, you knew it was possible. Yeah, you knew you are already in this situation because I always tell you guys, you have what it is you want, not you will, you have it already. So you technically in your mind are already married to this person, but you are looking at him and saying in your head or her, wow, I'm that powerful. I really did this. I really, really did this. So how did that feel? It felt great, right? Because the key to what it is that we quote unquote want is to understand that there are different dimensions, right? So there's a version of you that you're living right now because this is the version that you've been manifesting consistently. And, and we only manifest what we prioritize. So if you've prioritized a reality that you don't like, you have full ample opportunity to go to the next dimension. And that's why we call it quantum leaping because you take this reality you're living because this is what you've prioritized and manifested and you decide, I wanna change it. I wanna do something different because a lot of people, when they think about manifesting, they're always thinking that, uh, if somebody wants to change their reality, it's because they don't like it. But in reality, it's not always about what you don't like. Sometimes you just want more or you want uh, a different experience. And so I'm going to give you guys an example of how this happened for me, but it happened on a weird kind of way. So I was scripting about two years ago. This is probably maybe even three years ago because there was a year of consistency with that manifestation, but it stopped. And I'm going to tell you guys why. So what I was manifesting was friends and uh, basically just having people who would be a support system for me because I am a very big homebody. I'm not one of those people you're going to catch in Target. I mean, you might, but I'm not like a social butterfly. So I'm not in a lot of events and things like that where I'm meeting new people just consistently, right? So for me, it was it was a, a genuine thing that I wanted at the time was to find a group of women or a, it doesn't even have to be a big group, like two or three people who were doing things that I'm doing. Like they're working from home or they have their own businesses or they're entrepreneurs themselves. And I wanted to be around people who inspired me, people who made me want to be better, people who made me want to travel the world and just do things and experience things together as a unit. And what happened was I manifest that quite quickly by just allowing myself to believe that I already had it, that I already had people I was around who were inspiring me. I already had friends that I can travel to and hang out and do speaking events with and stuff. So the way I got what I wanted was by simply believing I already had it. And that's the same concept when it comes to manifesting your specific person proposing to you. You need to put yourself in the exact shoes. If it takes closing your eyes, do it. For me, I'm a little weird. I tell people all the time, I date dream and I manifest with my eyes open. Why? I don't know why I'm like that, but it's actually easier for me to focus. It makes absolutely no sense, but I've been like this since I was a kid in junior high and high school. For some reason, when my brain wants to go off somewhere, I just do it with my eyes open. And so a lot of times people, you ever had somebody stare at you and you're wondering why they're staring at you, but then you realize they're not really staring at you. They're just like somewhere else in their head. That's what it looks like when I'm like daydreaming because someone could be talking to me and I also have ADHD, but somebody could be talking to me and I'm, my head's in a whole different place. And so I'm like, wait, what'd you say? <laughs> Cause in my head, I'm thinking about, oh my gosh, my specific person just proposed to me. And so that's how easy it is, guys. There is no time. So when you think of that and you really let that sink in, you realize how powerful you are and you stop saying this story because this is what's stopping people from manifesting the reality of their person proposing to them. What's stopping them is because they believe it hasn't been done yet. But technically, like I told you guys, there's other dimensions and you currently are on the dimension you've been manifesting. So if you wanna go to the other dimension where you're wealthy and you're prosperous, and you're married to the best husband you could ask for or wife, um, that reality is going to feel amazing for you. It's going to be a norm for you. It's not going to be like you wake up every day and you're like, oh my God, I'm married. Yeah, yeah. But it's going to still feel 
good because this is what you manifested. This is what you created, right? And so here's another analogy I'm going to use. Not really an analogy, but I'm going to tell you guys another way to think of this to help you understand what I'm trying to tell you. So just like I said, there's other dimensions. Think about it from this point of view. Is proposing something new, is that something you've just realized is a thing out here in this world? Are you six years old and we're just telling you what the idea and the meaning of someone being on their knees proposing to someone would be like? No, it's not new to you. And so what that means is the only thing stopping you in from getting what you want and you know keeping that delay there is you right? Because every single thing you are asking for or saying, quote unquote, that you want to manifest, it already exists. The ring is already out there. The him getting on his knees is already happening. Just like you have deja vu. Have you ever like drifted off and you're doing something you're like, I definitely did this before. I have deja vu quite a lot. And what deja vu is, in my opinion, is you reliving an event in another dimension, right? But you always have the opportunity to quantum leap and go to the next dimension because you are the maker. You're the creator. You are who decides how this is going to go, how this story is going to be played out, right? So it's not new for someone to be proposed to. You've seen that. You know what it looks like. You, It's not new for you to see a mansion. You know what a mansion looks like. You've seen it before, whether it be in person or online. Um, you know what, uh, what it would look like if you had $3 million in your bank account. So the only thing that stops people from getting what they want is just believing they don't have it. And the key to manifesting is just to remind yourself that you already do because time is an illusion. So just like someone can say in six years, I'll be a billionaire. What, why can't you be a billionaire now? Because six years from now, you go talk to somebody in the spiritual community from freaking three light years ago. All right. I'm talking like very very long time guys we're talking three thousand years back okay you try to tell them that you're gonna go get a bugatti and you're gonna be a millionaire and a billionaire in, in the next three years and like, what are you talking about you can do that right now what do you mean so guys <laughs> key is in you all right the key that you're looking for it's inside of you and so do daily practices as Abraham Hicks has said, and um, Neville Goddard. Participate in fun activities throughout the day to enhance this intuitive side of you. I like, that's why I'm called Intuitive Soul Tribe, guys, is because, or Intuitive Gamer Gal, rather. Um, everything is really about our intuition. How can we connect inside, inward, with our higher self? And so if you want to be able to connect with that higher self and get the reality of your SP proposing to you, all you have to do is believe that it's already happening right now. If you perform these daily exercises of really just being in the moment for less than 10 minutes and really just daydream about what it's going to feel like you are standing there, you're yourself. There's no point in looking at yourself from a third person point of view because you're not going to see it that way. The way you're going to see it is you're going to see this person on their knees with a big smile on their face and their beautiful eyes that you love and their amazing hair and they're going to have it in their hand. And what you'll notice as I'm saying this is your heart starts beating faster. And you're like, oh my gosh, like that, that would be amazing. Feel that as much as you can, because the more you do that, the more that you're going to realize that time really is an illusion and you're going to wake up one day and that's really going to happen. And you're going to be like, wow, I manifested this. And you don't have to say anything out your mouth. You know how many things probably happen in your world, but if you paid more attention, you would see how many things you thought about and then eventually saw. Just like the concept if I say, like they say, the red car theory. If I tell you to go look for a red car, what do you think you're going to do? You're going to go look for a red car. Or if I say that you're going to get a million dollars if you, uh, for every car you find, right? Or something like that. Every red car you find. And then you'll be like, okay, sure. So what are you going to do? You're going to focus on making sure that you count all of these cars because more cars you count, the more money you're going to get. That's the red car theory. Same concept. There's a lot of things going on, but if you're not paying attention, how can you expect how can you believe and accept what it is you're manifesting if you're not paying attention, okay? There's a lot of things that go by in our daily life that we don't pay attention to. Back to the red car theory, you may, you can ask the same person and say, hey, do you think you've seen a red car this week? And they'll probably be like, uh, I don't know, probably, yeah. Oh, well, that's the theory. If you believe 
that you create, then you understand that every single day a red car is passing you. So the opportunities have always been there. That's what people forget. The opportunities have always been there. It's just now you're focused on actually getting said opportunities, guys. You feel me? You catch my drift? So where your power lies, it's always going to lie in what it is you believe and what it is you currently have. And so if you feel like you don't have something, the universe is continuing to give you that same story, not because that's reality. No, it's because that is what your belief system has been. But as soon as you say, hey, I'm going to believe in the red card theory. If I say to myself that I'm being proposed to, I'm being proposed to and I may look delusional to you and I may look crazy to you, but it doesn't matter because it's not about what these people think. It's about what you know to be true, which is time is an illusion. You create your reality. Your SP has already proposed to you. You guys are planning wedding arrangements right now. What are you talking about? So you're gifted and you're very powerful. So just like someone can say for every red car you see, I'll give you a million dollars. It's the same concept. Give yourself these opportunities to play these games in manifesting. Say I'm going to find a blue pin this week. Say um, I'm going to see a palm tree this week. Do these activities as much as possible and you you will start to notice how powerful you are because there are people who pray and they do do affirmations about opportunities like um, I want to manifest uh, money opportunities every day. Very powerful uh money opportunities but then as they go throughout their day they're not paying attention and they're not realizing all the opportunities that are actually showing up to their benefit same thing if you said um i'm about to sign a million dollar contract same concept if you're not paying attention you may not see the opportunity for that to actually become true which is what the universe delivers immediately just like i have videos where they say what is your specific person thinking as you're manifesting them same concept everybody's like wondering like what are they thinking what are they thinking they're thinking exactly what it is that you are saying they're thinking it's that simple i tell you guys all the time everybody in our reality is us pushed out which means they're a mirror of you so if you feel like i'm not enough I'm not going to get proposed to. Guess what's going to happen? You're not going to feel enough and you're not going to get proposed to because the person that you want to propose to you is going to think to themselves that they're not ready yet. They might want a certain amount of finances before they propose to you. They may want to uh, give you the world and until they get there, they're going to keep, you know, stalling. If you put doubt into anything, that is what you get back is doubt. So your SP is going to think to themselves, wow. I don't want to let this person down, so therefore I'm not going to put myself in a situation where I will. So if you want to be manifested to, the things I want you guys to take away from this video, if you want someone to propose to you is number one, you need to believe you already have it, okay? So put yourself in the feeling state. Number two, apply the red car theory. The red car theory states that if someone tells you something, you will now pay attention to said thing because now you want said thing. Same concept in your life. It's not that you didn't have men who wanted to propose to you or women who wanted to marry you. It's just the simple concept of, you know what? Red car theory. I got to pay attention. Number three. Okay. Time is an illusion. So with that being said, every single thing that you're asking for, every single thing you think you don't have, it's already, it's already made. It's already been created. It's you in another dimension. And you're just quantum leaping to that person because the person that you want to be that successful individual, that millionaire, that billionaire, that person on the Forbes list, that person doing speaking events, that person getting married, having kids, building a beautiful uh, family that already exists. You know how people talk about doppelgangers? Same concept, okay? It's not a doppelganger. That same person is in a different dimension doing what it is that you were creating. And so you have to ask yourself, I'm gonna keep creating this same reality that I have right now, or am I gonna quantum leap and create the reality that I know I can? Okay, so if this was helpful, let me know in the comment section below, guys. This kind of drug out. I'm very passionate about what I talk about. So sometimes it drags out to like 19, 20 minutes. And I try to control that because I know for a fact that, you know, some of you guys have things to do, you know. <laughs> so guys, get the Manifest Everything journal. A lot of people have been asking me about it these days. This journal helps you manifest extremely fast. That's why I always promote it. It's also a journal I've created. So I made sure to put techniques in this journal that I know are going to help you manifest with 
without a doubt, all right? Also, there's very powerful affirmations in this journal, so I will provide that link in the description below. Um, I do get questions about email affirmations and do I offer coaching? I do offer coaching. I no longer am doing the Attract Your Desires course. That is in draft mode right now because I have a lot going on in my life. But what I can do for you guys is consultation. So if you need the consultation links and you want to set up a time to meet with me and manifest your SP, the links are in the description below as well. Okay. I'm seeing you guys lots of love, lots of light. Please go after what's yours. Like you are meant for great things. The only person stopping you is you. Remember that, okay? Sending you guys lots of love, lots of light. Also, guys, if you haven't already, join the VIP Soul Gym Elites group. It will not let you down. Going back to what I said before about the affirmations, a lot of new affirmations I, I drop inside of that group. So if you have not joined yet, you are missing out. Not only is it that you get all of these offers of affirmations, you also get first access to any public video I put on my channel. You get member only videos. So anything you request from me. So like if, if you say, Kim, I need help manifesting a SP from a different country, then that's going to be uploaded specifically for members only guys. So don't miss out. These are amazing things that will help you guys manifest so, so much faster. All right. So click that join link. That link is in the description below. I'm seeing you guys lots of love, lots of light. Go after what's yours and stop telling yourself stuff that's not true. You are meant for great things. Bye, guys. Love you so very much. Have a wonderful rest of the day.